Hello, hello once again. Thank you for tuning in. And if it's your first time here, my name is Chandra, and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there. And today's topic is whatever you use to attract people might be the only thing that they come there for. My father wants me to come here and talk about the importance of preaching pure gospel to the pure and win souls for his kingdom. And every time we claim to be coming in the name of the Lord, we need to know that his name is at stake. Therefore, we need to represent him very well. And if God didn't send you, please keep his name out of your mouth. Because that way we can maintain our integrity, our credibility, and our anointing as well. The last thing that you need is to lose your anointing because of silly things. Blaspheming and using his name in vain. And the Bible or the scriptures teaches us that blaspheming against the Holy Spirit cannot be forgiven. And it pleases God when we preach the pure gospel and we believe his word and we should always ask him to set us free from the ignorance that has shamed us all. Peter said, be able to give the answer of what you believe. And one of them is learning theology on your knees is the aspect that will preserve us from this irony, from this surreal, or any emphasis that has not, not seen being helpful, not, that has not been seen helpful. We can learn theology to save us from the ignorance that has shamed us all. Children of God or brothers and sisters out there, the reason why I'm teaching you this today is because I've seen so many, many people come out there claiming to be coming out in the name of the Lord, but all they do is slander others and bashing others. And some, they go to an extent of trying to use their resources to have those people on their side. And when I talk about resources, some of them, they use the money and some of them, they use the prophecies to win all these people to be on their side. Failing to understand that the very same thing that they use to attract audience might be the only thing that people come there for. The Bible teaches to help the poor and feed the hungry. But you have to be careful when you're doing so because you might be attracting only professional beggars. And those people will destroy the exposure of your ministry. You need to be careful. People should be coming to you or to your channel if you say you're a minister of God only for the word of God. You have to teach people the Holy Scriptures, the Word of God. Teach them about the canonical prophets, prophets like Jeremiah, Samuel, all those people, the Old Testament and the New Testament. You know why? Because the Scriptures is God's final revelation. God did not give Scriptures to stop a revelation or to stop any gift. Scriptures are given to correct abuses and this is so that every prophetic word has to be coherent with the word of God. We need to know that as Christians. If a prophetic word goes against the scriptures, I'm here to tell you that reject it, it doesn't matter who the person is. You've got to remember that those who are spirit-filled, they are going to want to adhere it the scriptures and exalt the scriptures so if anybody by any means by the way claim to be speaking at an old level at the level as the scriptures don't listen to them discard them we are in a condition today where good people i mean good christian people who have personal desires and the one that desires to be fulfilled and these people, what they will do, because they want their desires to be fulfilled, 
they will come out and put their own desires out there and claiming that it's the will of God and they get it wrong and God doesn't like it. So I'm going to give you about an example of what happened in a Bible regarding something similar to this. There was a time, an example, where Jeremiah was accused of treason because he went to people and told them that Israel was going to go to Babylon in captivity and it was going to be for 70 years. People didn't like it. People were not happy. First of all, people were not happy that Israel was going to go into captivity, that Babylon into captivity. And the fact that he told them that it was going to be 70 years, which everybody, when they think about 70 years, it's a long time. And there was another prophet called Nananiah. But Nananiah came and told people that, yes, God has shown me that indeed Israel is going to go into captivity. However, it's going to be only two years. Because people were desperate to hear something that they want to hear. Everybody was cheering on Nananiah because they felt like, okay, two years is manageable. It's what we can accept. They were cheering, this is our guy. This is what we want to hear. Not to you, Jeremiah, telling us that it's going to be 70 years. And Jeremiah turned around and said, Nananiah, you will not leave. You're going to die before this year. It's over. And everybody was furious. And they were accusing him of treason. How could you say those things? But in fact, in a natural fact, it was the truth. And what happened was, Israel did go into captivity, Babylon capti captivity into Babylon for 70 years. And what happened also? Nananiah died the seventh month of that year. Everything that prophet Jeremiah said was the truth. So this goes to show you that people say what people want to hear and what people want them to say. Most people, they don't want to listen to God. And the worst mistake is when they come and say, God told me so. That's blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Why do you think Nananiah died the seventh month of that year? Because he was blaspheming the Holy Spirit. He said two years to make people happy, hear what they want to hear. While in a natural fact, the Holy Spirit told Jeremiah that God told Jeremiah that, yes, Israel is going to go to Babylon in captivity and it's going to be 70 years. Whether people liked it or not, it was the truth and it's something that happened. Because how to know that somebody has heard from God is that whether it's a prophecy, whether it's a word, it will come to pass. That's why there's no need to prove anything to anybody. There's no need to say, that says the Lord. This is what the Lord says. Sometimes it's, in, it's better. We just say, I have a word, or I have this leading, or this is how what I feel in my spirit. Because when it's from God, it will come to pass. And this shows with the story of Jeremiah and Ananiah, it shows that we need to be careful when we are using the name of the Lord. Careful of our own behavior. Separate what God says and what our personal desires want. Only treat people with the word of God. Attract people, sorry. Only attract people with the word of God. What you've been sent to do, not your own personal desires. I'm here to tell you, stick to the scriptures. Don't lie. Don't try to market yourself. Don't try to pull the crowd and use the name of the Lord in vain. Because that way, you lose your credibility, you lose your integrity, and you lose your anointing. And remember, the scriptures are God's final revelation. They cannot be altered. They cannot be changed to our personal desires. 
and all he wants he wants us to be his vessel to preach the pure gospel to the poor the gospel that he has sent us to send it out there his name is a stake every time we come out in his name and we have to be careful and represent him very well because our father in heaven lives and he's there and he sees it all nobody should use the gospel for their personal gain for their own personal desires it's purely to win souls for him to attract people to the father of the bible because even the bible says come and taste the sweetness of the lord because god wants those lost soul to come his sweetness because they come and taste that this god is real i can guarantee you there's no turning back they will come give it all and they will see their life change everything the vicious cycle that have that been stuck in they will come out of it and they will see their life so brothers and sisters i'm here to tell you whatever you use to attract people might be the only thing that they come for let them be only for the word of god and to win souls for revelation because remember the scriptures are god's final revelation scriptures are there to know him the bible is his revealed will it's true god is alive god is real god is real whoever tells you that he's not they lie to you there's power in the name of jesus you call that name every knee shall bow they bow to that name any gods any power of darkness any principalities you call the name of jesus they bow to that name because there's power and authority in that name and we have to make sure that every time we come out we represent him well his name is at stake and that way we will maintain our integrity our credibility and our anointing so i hope you've been blessed by this message and if you have please like and share subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching god bless you amen